Shalom. Call Hello Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shah. And to your confusion to face, brothers and sisters, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you may look like one of the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst. Same to if your sea line or bloodline traces back to these tribes through the man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it to the confusion to face, brothers and sisters out there, you are Israelites. Though you do, once again, look like the other nations. The heathen nations are the uh, 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 nations outside these 12 tribes. To the few aqua, few sisters that do listen and learn, shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, which may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who these words going out to, shallow up to you as well. To you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. And um, I have an uh, a article uh, before I pull this up. On RT, which is Russia Today, it says U.S. school to hide, not destroy, Washington mural, mural depicting slaves and dead Native Americans. Okay? You Israelites, basically. And I'm going to read this article, then I'm going to get the scripture, then I'm going to close it out. It says, a George Washington mural considered offensive to some minorities at a San Francisco school will not be painted over. The local school board voted it will be hidden on the panels about the his heroism of people of color instead. Among other things, the mural, a series of 13 frescoes titled The Life of Washington, depicts slavery and white settlers standing over a dead Native American. Okay? And you're not white. You're the Edomites. Okay? It, is, it was painted in 1936 by Russian American artist Victor Anatov and was actually intended to be critical of Washington's legacy as America's first president. In June, the city's city in June, the city's school board voted to paint over the mural. The decision prompted a backlash as critics say that destroying a historical work of art is akin to censorship. Followed fierce debate, the school board convened, convened again on Tuesday, deciding by a four to three vote to cover the mural over with panels indefinitely instead of destroying it. According to heroism of people of color in America and their struggle against discrimination, racism, hatred, and poverty, I think we all agree that the mural depicts a history of the country that is hard to see. School board president Steve, Stephen Cook said before the vote, the ongoing re, uh, evaluation of historical figures in the U.S. remains a point of contention with a surge in costs removed from public spaces references to people some associate with racism, colonialism, and slavery. Dozens of statues of Confederate figures have been removed in recent years. There have also been calls by activists to remove statues of the founding fathers like George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, because they owned slaves and tolerated racism. Opponents say that the statues should remain in place, serving as reminders of the tragic and uncomfortable moments of history. Let's get the scriptures. I'm just going to start off the top. This is Habakkuk 2. And uh, 14, okay, it says, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. And that's what's happening. Truth is springing out the four corners of the earth. And this truth coming out is what? It's like water with the witch. Esau the witch and his word being the water. It's melting Esau. Everything, okay, is going to say in the next verse. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy forest can be uncovered. The, hold on, I skipped it. Yeah, I'll skip to the 16th verse. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Thou drink also and let thy force can be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned on to thee, and, spewful, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Okay? And that's what's happening. This word is uh, uh, exposing Esau and expo exposing, okay, how he got this place. Exposing, okay, what uh, uh, the blood he shed, okay, to get on top, right? And now. Was once was considered because if you go back before this word was coming out as heavy as it was, if you go back in time, okay, Esau would put stuff out like this and it would be okay, man. 
Nobody would say nothing about it, okay? It's his glory. And now we're in the time where, okay, this word is going out, and now shameful spewing is on that glory. To the Edomites, okay, as for this, they will look at this picture as a glory, okay? Because it's their kingdom. But now it's, it's becoming shameful. Uh, uh, these statues, they, these confederate statues that they got set up throughout the four, uh, uh, throughout this country, man. Okay, the uh, 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 even pictures like these, man. All that's being shameful now. Looked at as shameful now. Okay, and and, and you see these Edomites, they're doing everything in their power. You saw they they they, they could have destroyed it, but they ain't want to destroy it because they're too attached to it. They they rather so called put. A heroism of color and stay over it instead of destroying it, man. Okay? They want to hide it instead of destroying it. But this is why I'm going to get this scripture. Shameful spewing is being put on his glory, man. Okay? Everything about this man, his whole history is a shame. Okay? Because we in that time of his, his downfall. Isaiah. Let me see. Isaiah 29 15 Isaiah 29 14 actually therefore I behold I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people even a marvelous work and a wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding their prudent men shall be hid and that's what's happening you see the uh, wisdom of the nation of Edom perishing okay surely hold on the 15th verse woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel and it's talking about, in this verse, the elites, okay, of these Edomites. But it could apply to this, these, these low-level Edomites as well, man. He's trying to hide a, 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 a picture where you slaughtered, okay, the Native Americans. And you, you had slaves, okay. You enslaved the Native Americans, all the tribes, man, the, the Israelites, man. Okay, period. And you want to hide it instead of destroying it, okay. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who see of us? Who know of us? Okay? So the Lord is saying, woe unto you, man. Destruction when you're trying to hide it, man. Okay? You Edomites won't... What the hell? You Edomites won't change. Okay? And... This is, uh... Luke 18 and 17, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad, okay? And it's becoming known that all these 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 murals, these the uh, uh, statues that Esau has set up, it had some ties to the slave trade, man. It had some ties to slavery. It had some uh, ties to having you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans down, man. Okay, now it's coming abroad now, okay? And you can hide it because guess what? You, you think you can hide your history, period. It's not just, okay, a, 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 a picture, okay? It's not just you tearing down or trying to hide your statues. You're trying to uh, cover up the whole entire uh, tragedy of slavery, period. You have Esau trying to take the fact that slavery happened out of history books in school now, from what I heard, okay? But guess what? Um, Let me see. This is, uh, I'll say, uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. It said, I know that whosoever Yahweh doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And Yahweh doeth it that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And Yahweh require that which is past. Okay? So, so. All that stuff you did in the past, the Lord ain't forget about it. He's going to require that which is past, man. Okay? And what's he going to require? The judgment on you, man. Okay? Judgment, okay, for what you did to the children of Israel. Okay? He's going to require, okay? Let me get it. Ezekiel 35. I 
I started the first verse. Ezekiel 35 verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And if you go to Genesis 36 and 8, it tells you that Mount Seir is Esau, Edom. Okay? It tells you that. It's talking about the Edomites. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, because thou hast had a, has had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, and the time that they had iniquity, their iniquity had an end, man. Okay? When you so-called let us out of slavery, you kept at it with the KKK. You kept at it with your unrighteous decrees, Jim Crow, okay, the segregation, all that, man. You kept at it. Which segregation is not bad, but you you just kept at it, Esau. The lynchings, the uh uh uh, the lynchings, the burnings, okay, all that, man. You kept at it when our iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee, okay. So Lord saying blood is the same. You like drawing blood, okay? So blood shall pursue thee because it tells you in Genesis. Okay? Genesis, uh... I start the fifth verse, nine and five, and surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast will, will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed for the for in the image of your of your Howard made he man. Okay? So there it is, man. You shed our blood, so we're gonna shed your blood, man. Okay? The Lord's gonna uh, uh, according to it plenty of scriptures, man. Ezekiel, the 25th chapter, the 12th verse, where down, Lewis is going to give his men power, and through those men, he's going to show his anger, man. He's going to put, okay, use those men with those spiritual powers to get their revenge off the nation to eat them, man, okay? Revelations 9, okay? I'll just end it with that. Revelations 12 and 13, I think it was. It's lucky. Hold on. Why is it not his phone acting up? Yeah, Revelation 13 and 9. Okay. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led us who led the children into captivity? All you heathen nations, but the main uh, uh nation, the chief nation, is Esau Edom. Okay, so-called white race. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. The saints which are Israelites, man, the elect right now. Okay? So you killed us with the sword, you, sword. you shed our blood, so like the scriptures say, blood shall pursue thee, man. Then you going into captivity, man. So your whole entire, okay, the kingdom as it is now is going down. And through that process, okay, you're going to be destroyed, man. Then you're going into captivity. Then you're going to do a thousand years of cap, uh, captivity under us. Then you're going to be exterminated according to Obadiah 1 and 18 after those thousand years, man. The only nation that's going to be exterminated, okay? So that's the lesson. Call Halal Allah Yahweh Bashim Shah Shalom to the uh, elect.